Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. You join me today with this stunning looking BMW M2. Now, to be honest, looking back at my older videos, I haven't really featured that many standard M2s. I feel that people don't really go that crazy with them compared to say the M140i, but this is definitely an exception to that rule, running 625 brake on race fuel and it's properly set up and an absolute animal. Now the car is owned by Mabs from NV Motorsport up here in Birmingham. So I'll introduce you to him very shortly. Have a walk around the car before going out, making some noise and having some fun in this 600 plus brake M2. Okay, so we're joined with Mabs from NV Motorsport. It's good to finally meet you, man, because uh, it's been a long time face. coming. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's me. Now this, I've seen this all around on the internet, but this is the first time I've seen it. And yeah, it, it looks even better in person. It's stunning. I think you would have seen it a lot sooner if it weren't for COVID yeah, and true. the whole of 2020. <laughs> but yeah, generally it's, uh, it's a bit unique. Yeah, definitely. I mean, like I said to you off camera just now, I've featured a couple of M2s before, but no one really goes mental with them. Yeah. Compared to like the B58, I just feel that the M2, even though it is kind of arguably maybe the better car, um, people just don't go mental on them. I think it's because they're so good at the factory that, mm. um, you know, there's not hardly anything you need to do to it to enjoy it. True. Obviously, you can go mad with it, but <laughs> I mean, yeah, generally, I, I think at the factory, it's just such a weapon. Yeah, yeah. So give us a run around of what you've done because, yeah, this is definitely not standard by any means. Yeah, I mean, obviously, the N55 itself is one where familiar with, with the M135i, 235i, etc. Um, M2 comes with a slightly different oil pan, um, different rods um, and different block itself, but generally it is an N55, so it's not majorly different. Mm. Um, so kind of, you know, stage one, stage twos are pretty much the same, same sort of power. The turbo actually, the original turbo is a different turbo fold, so it allows a bit more power than the M135i's. Um, so that's why they, they kind of stay around the 420 to 430 on the stage two. But fueling is the biggest issue with these, um, as you're probably aware in the mm -hmm. B58s as well, kind of anything above a certain power and you need to upgrade the fueling yeah, um, before yeah, exactly. anything. Um, but yeah, this one's got a big boost turbo, so a full frame turbo kit on there. Um, 6159, which is kind of there, not the top of the level one, uh, but just the one below that, I think it's more usable than the top level um, 3.4. Um, which has loads of lack and yeah. has a power window of about a thousand RPM. Yeah. yeah. Whereas this kind of comes on boost about three and a half, and mm -hmm. then it's you know all singing and dancing till yeah. the end. Um, power wise, 625 brake horsepower on race fuel. Mm -hmm. That's an Alco GT 109, um, and 580 to 590 brake horsepower with the MEF and pump fuel. Which is what we're running today. Yeah, which yeah. we're what we're running today. I mean, the high pressure fuel pump's been upgraded to the B58 TU, but that does run out of puff around the yeah. 500 horsepower, so it's kind of pointless to upgrade it if you're going to have MEF, because the MEF mm. in itself acts like fuel fill. Um, when you run 50-50, so the water content actually becomes the fuel content mm. and the meth cools down intake temperatures which is what you need especially on a hot <laughs> yeah. day like this yeah, i mean the tarmac is melting it's oh, so man, hot <laughs> yeah we just spun the car around and it's lifting up the tarmac yeah yeah um but yeah i mean it's typically just four bolt on so intake mm -hmm. intercooler um turbo back exhaust and then the turbo charger high pressure fuel pump and meth yeah um so i mean in all honesty it is very simple in a conversion but the tuning side of things takes a lot of time. I mean, this mm. car's had over, you know, a thousand miles on the dyno. Really? And, you wow. know, 2,000 miles R&D on the road. So yeah. it's put well together just to get the research and development out so that we can replicate it on another car. Absolutely. Um, for Absolutely. example. Um, no, it's mad to see an M2 with this amount done to it, really. Yeah, I mean, people say, where, where would you use it? But, I mean, we went to Santa Pod last week. Yeah. And it's scorching weather, it was like this. Um, and we ran a 10.9 seconds. Wow. At 130 mile an hour. Yeah. So, I think, you know, it does its job on a straight line. It does mm. its job on the country road. And I think it's all round. It is a very usable, big powered car. Yeah, unlike that's what you want. some on the roads, yeah. Yeah, very true, very true. And obviously, it's not just performance. You've done a fair bit of aesthetics. Of course, you have your... Other company, MV Forge. <laughs> yeah, so MV Forge is our sister company. So lightweight forge, aluminium wheels, billet aluminium, um, not kind of flow formed or anything yep. like that. So they are made from one piece. I mean, they're about nine kilos each corner, which is about five, six kilos lighter than the original. Yeah. Um, so yeah, they help with grip, acceleration, etc. Mm -hmm. So let's have a little, little look at these because these are stunning. I mean, what is it kind of like a like a chrome kind of finish like a I well to describe the, it. the actual process for this is um it's a brush finish so yeah it's an nvf 040 
um, it, in its kind of design, but it's then hand brushed manually okay. on every spoke, which takes oh, like wow. 16 hours start to finish per wheel. Yeah. And then it's clear coated in a tinted clear. Mm. Um, and that gives it that kind of definition of, you know, light to dark yeah, and yeah. that rendition of, you know, all round. And you get quite a bit of wheel. concave even on the fronts, don't you? Yeah, so at the fronts we're running nine and a half, and the rears we're running 10.5s. So yeah. um, I think that's probably the biggest you can run in with <laughs> some M2, <laughs> yeah, even though it's got flared arches. Yeah. No, that's it, that's it. And what kind of suspension are we sitting on as well? Um, it's actually the stock suspension. Is it? Yeah, everyone's like, why didn't you put coilovers in it and that on there? The reason being is because the majority of coilovers out there are stainless steel. The mm. shocks themselves are stainless steel on there way more than these. These are aluminium. Ah, okay, and yeah, the yeah. actual valve within the shocks itself is capable of a reduction in height as well. So we've got minus 35 mil H&R springs on there mm. and it copes really well. It's, yeah. yeah, it can be a bit soft when the heat gets in them on track but fast road kind of odd yeah. track use is perfect. Yeah, definitely. Um, coupled with the Michelin Pilot Sport 4 Yes, Which definitely. are mint in everyday use. I mean, mm. when you put your foot down, you probably see today, <laughs> it does squirm and it, it struggles for grip. Yeah, well, I bet with the, with the number beginning with six. Well, <laughs> maybe maybe not today, but yeah, yeah. nearabouts. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's the torque value on these. I mean, once that torque comes in, it's hard to control mm. pulling that through the ground. <laughs> That's yeah. it, yeah, definitely. And we've got the boot open as well. Obviously yeah, in the boot, we've got up a, the back. Yeah, we've got a small MEF tank. We've got a larger MEF tank that sits on the top. Um, mm -hmm. But for Santa Pod, we run the smaller MEF tank yep. and fire extinguisher, obviously. Obviously. Yeah, yeah, obviously. obviously. <laughs> yeah. No, mate, no, it's a, a really well set up car. Looks absolutely stunning as well. But I think what we should do, get it fired up. Yeah. Go have some fun. Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> beauty of this M55 it just allows you to kind of hear the engine yeah. in you know synonymous firing order and then that turbo spool sounds like a Supra it's like an old school <laughs> yes. Supra 1JZ big turbo oh man I mean like I said to you off camera and I think maybe some of the people watching this I very nearly decided to swap my 140 shortly after I bought it for an M2 M55 but, uh, yeah it's standard OG wow. yeah um, but then I got carried away with the 140. Well, yeah. the, the B58 life is a good life, to be yeah, fair. Yeah. People compare them to this all the time, but it's, it's a more sophisticated engine, do you know what I mean? It's mm. charge cooled, it's, you know, it's got strong internals, so you can't really compare it to it. <laughs> it sounds so good, though. <laughs> yeah, that's pulled up. Just a light fall. Oh. <laughs> it's addictive. It is, it is addictive. It's funny because in comparison, obviously now I've got the G80, every time you're shifting that, it feels like an age before it changes gear. Oh really? Yeah, and downshifting is even worse. Yeah. So, it's so nice to jump in this and have that point, yeah. boom, yeah. next gear, downshift, it's there for you. It's there, yeah. Uh, obviously mapping the box, I'm, I mapped it so that it is still quite comfortable, um, but it's more aggressive because on these, you don't get the, the choice of aggressiveness like you do in the M2 comps. Yeah. So I've kind of implemented a lot of the comp software within this uh, gearbox software so that yeah. in Sport Plus, it gives it the most aggression. You've done a lot to it. It's been a bit of a journey for it. It has, yeah, like, yeah. You've had it from new as well. It's always been the underdog though, isn't it? People are like, ah, oh, it's M55, it's not an M car. I think the M2 is my favorite M car. Really? Because it's, it's, it's not a big, platform is it it's it's not huge it's, it's small yeah. it's it's still it's very capable niche, yeah. and they look so good like from the back you've got the big arches 
four exhausts. If you compare it to a lot of cars, there's there's so much more you can get. Mm. But when you you know look at it as a as a car and capable car, it's just so well put together from factory. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I told you, I liked up them tyres. Mate. <laughs> yeah, that is, that is uh, lively, isn't it? The brakes are warmed up as well. Bloody hell. <laughs> Crazy thing is, you stick it in comfort, put it in drive. And it's just normal. And it's just, it doesn't feel like mm -hmm. anything special. Like yeah. it will, it will, you're commuting it nice and you know get good fuel economy yeah. 47 miles to the gallon 70 mile an hour on the motorway that's nuts it's more than i get <laughs> mind you i'm never in comfort mode that's yeah, probably what it is true. <laughs> i've tried to reduce the amount of slip it can create because mm. you can taper the boost but because it's a big turbo it's actually got the capabilities of running about 750 really the turbo so when you try and run a big turbo like that at a lower power level it's very hard to control mm. that wastegate especially if you're trying to you know make it as linear as possible um, and obviously, when I map, I, I, I tune them as OEM, so I leave it in closed loop, part throttle, anything over 100%, like mm -hmm. 80% throttle, it will go into open loop, so we'll give full attack mode. <laughs> it is addictive, isn't it? Like we were saying, it's so addictive. It's because of the noise, the yeah. talk, how it kind of responds. The lag, people people always complain about lag on a big turbo. For me, I enjoy it because it gives you, it's, it's like it's preparing like, yeah, you yeah. for the power. Yeah, I mean, the gear shifts are bang. Instant, I Bang. Know. And it just feels like a race car, like yeah. it's something with a sequential rather than a DCT. And You get that little nudge. Yeah, yeah. And the stock car is quite soft on the shifts sometimes. Mm. So you don't feel it. But yeah, we, we had a look through the, uh, the database the other day and there was 192 revisions for this car. This? No, <laughs> Just to get it where it was. Like, that's over kind of probably three months. That's excessive, that. On and off the dyno and... <laughs> Actually, it's more than that because there's 192B. So oh, there, really? was, there was loads of 180Bs yeah, 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 and all yeah. of that as well. That's mad. That's what I say, like, it's, it's been a journey, isn't it? It's just yeah, definitely. There's definitely. always something to do. But now you've got the G80. Yeah. It's probably going to take over, I imagine, isn't it? It's crazy because we took the G80 to Santa Bot on the same day as this mm. and um, did a couple of quarter miles, totally stock. Um, yeah, yeah, had a cat back exhaust, but totally stock. Is it 11.9, which is mad because like, the stock yeah. F80s were doing like high 12, so wow. way quicker. Yeah. The launch is quite, it's, it's a bit hit and miss. Um, but I think if you bang on the launch, you've got a quick car. Yeah. And it grips and it governs it well. It's a launch control program that actually works. It does reduce slip and all of that. Whereas majority, like the Gold Fars, yeah. it's all or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so, Are the ECUs locked on that? Yeah, they're still locked. Yeah, they? um, th there are other means of kind of increasing the horsepower and torque. Um, and we might have, you know, explored that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah. Uh, there'll be some information yeah. kind of being released. At the moment, kind of, but it's mainly product development. So like, you know, charge pipes, mm. um, charge coolers, charge rads, down pipes, exhaust systems, mm. kind of air intakes as well. That's that's the predominant role that car is taking to yeah. kind of establish some products out there. Mm. Cause yeah. it's very well put together. Don't get me wrong. I think the G80 itself, out of the box, it, it doesn't feel like the old M3. Oh, really? It's not as raw, it's a bit softer. Okay. But it's, uh, it's way more capable. Yeah. Like, in the right hands, I think, on track, you know, with the right tyres and brake setup, I think it's a very capable car. I quite like them, actually. Really? I know they get their stick. Because they get their the stick for the girls. Yeah. And all that, yeah. but I don't dislike it. I never have. I think it's cool. It's just the way that BMW's design language are going now. And I think the standard, like, I mean, comparing the standard 4 Series and the M4, the grills on them, it, it, they were, the grills were put in place to suit the M cars. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. yeah, I think I it, like them. I think it looks a lot more aggressive than it actually drives. That's my only yeah, issue with that. Because yeah. if it did drive a bit more aggressive, like in Sport Plus, if you could, you know, get a bit more engine braking, for example, like when you lift off the throttle on this, 
You know you're slowing down. Yeah. And an M3 you don't because it will just kind of almost coast. Yeah. <laughs> Shockingly. Anyway, mate, I think that is uh, going to wrap things up. I, is this the fastest in the UK, by the way? At the moment, it is, it yeah, is yeah. Definitely, yeah. N55 fastest. I mean, the S55 obviously will dominate this yeah. with you know a couple of turbos, but generally, I think it's the fastest in Europe, N55, M2, uh, OG, cool. yeah. Quarter nice. mile, 100 to 200, yeah. etc. Well, mate, it's been uh, it's been good to meet you as well. At last. Well, yeah, definitely. I think uh, we need to do more of this. Oh, definitely, man. Definitely. Um, Maybe with the G80 when it's uh, yeah, yeah, when, when it's getting there. <laughs> yeah, when, <laughs> when we get that back. Um, yeah. We'll take a trip down and come see you. Yeah, maybe it's something at Santa Pod or something because I, I still haven't been there. Really? I've never been to Santa Pod. You need to pop that Santa Pod cherry yeah. <laughs> because uh, it's exhilarating. I think yeah. you need to go there to That's experience it. Exactly. But um, I'll leave all the details for Envy Motorsport down in the description down below. Um, YouTube, Instagram, all that kind of stuff. All of that usual stuff. Um, yeah. But um, but yeah, no, it's been a pleasure. Thank you very much for, for taking me out of this. It kind of does make me wish that I did maybe consider an M2 a little bit more, but at least for now, that is going to wrap things up. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please do make sure you leave a like and make sure to subscribe for all the adventures. Stop the camera.